Now, what better way to celebrate the launch of the new Raspberry Pi than to revisit one of our favorite Pi projects from a few years ago, the Pirate Radio. Only this time, with the smaller form factor of the board, we'll be able to take the portability of this broadcaster even further and make it a Pirate Radio throwy. A word of caution before we begin. The broadcast frequencies of this project can range between 1 and 250 megahertz, which may interfere with government bands. Limit your transmission to standard FM band of 87.5 to 108 megahertz. Always choose a frequency that's not already in use to avoid interference with licensed broadcasters. And check your local laws before transmitting. To get started with the Pi Zero, you will need the usual USB keyboard, mouse, and HDMI monitor. But you'll also need a USB on-the-go cable. These aren't typical, so a smart move is to order them right when you order your Pi, or try to make your own. Start by making the antenna. Cut off a 4-6 to six inch length of 18 gauge solid core wire and strip off the end. Solder it to pin 4 on the zero and trim off any excess. Next, we'll need to set up our software. Install Raspbian OS on the micro SD card, insert it into the Pi. Connect a keyboard, mouse, and Wi-Fi dongle via the USB on the go cable and boot up the Pi. Set up your Wi-Fi connection, and then clone the Git repo for Pi-FM. Compile Pi-FM, and give it a quick test with some of the supplied sound files, making sure that your radio is tuned to the declared frequency. Now we'll get it ready to play our own music. Install MPG123, a command line MP3 player. Load some music onto your Pi, and test this out by piping the standard output from MPG123 into Pi-FM. Now we just need to set up the Pi so that it will broadcast all your music upon boot. Once that's done, the software setup of the device is complete. Now we just need to build the throwy. Trim the belt clip of the battery pack off and sand it flat. Use hot glue to attach some strong magnets to one side of the battery pack and hook and loop fasteners to attach the Pi to the other side. Use a short USB micro cable to power the Pi from the battery pack and you're all set. Switch the Pi on and give it a toss towards a metal structure Sure, you can just broadcast your own private radio station to your own home, but with the Pi Zero being as cheap as it is, you can easily make quite a few of these and deploy them around your city, leave radio geocaches for friends, or have an afternoon radio scavenger hunt. If you liked this video, subscribe to our channel or send us a comment on Facebook or Twitter. Be sure to check out our other project videos or visit us on makezine.com.